drain battery. My big giant fuse that goes between here and here. Uh, the remote control for the inverter. Negative cable that gets grounded out for the inverter. And then over here is my isolator. This isolator comes I'm going to have to attach a positive wire here. And that positive wire is going to run to my little isolator right here. I'm also going to be stealing this inline fuse I have in here somewhere that I was using for something else I was doing back in the day. Maybe it's inside the cab. I thought I saw it the other day out here. Anyways, I'm going to drop all that down and underneath my motherfucking truck. Is it in there? And, uh, let's see how it goes from there, guys. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is start building my wires. And, uh, it's my kill switch so I can shut the whole thing off if I have to. Got some of this fancy shit that I can run through the hole and out and down through there. And, uh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so, I was hoping. I think we'll get the isolator installed. Maybe I should read the instructions first. <sighs> to be continued, I now have to go buy wire shippers. Okay. Well, since I don't think it really matters if it's up, down, sideways or not. I think that'll be good. I kind of want to mount it into the fender well here. I kind of want to drill it into here. I'll go into that. It's softer steel, and then that thing, this going into it. This is the starter battery. I just thought it was a battery. I've learned a lot about shit. I'm dumb. Oh, it's silicone protection. So this one is going to be my positive starter battery, bloop. And then this one is going to lead out. This is my default wire and my negative approach, which is coming right. Today. I've completely disconnected my battery. But, uh, I'll let you keep myself. Although I suppose I could have only just done the uh, negative, but I think I'm gonna have to tap into this anyways. So I saw my point. Sharpie, sharpie, sharpie. With sharpie, I will play. And now comes the shit part where I. I can use my drill and hurt my hand. You know what fucking marks that I just keep doing. You see, at this level of incompetence, folks, the number I really got is It's gonna take me 10 fucking hours to do a one hour project that didn't fucking keep me there the other. That one. That one. Mounting it to the top of the wheel well. By the way, guys, one of the reasons I'm doing this is I am not a manly man by any means. Uh, I don't have body hair, don't want the bird for you. Uh, but I just want anybody to know that an idiot like me can do this. Anyway, go. Uh, don't care how many steps I'm taking. Noon. Eight, noon o'clock. Hopefully, once I get this rolling, it will not take me for fucking ever to get it. Here's your mind up nicely. Hopefully, I didn't use too big of a fucking drill bit, because I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Which is way more important than you think it is. 
That's it. That's the whole world with the screen. That's the thing. I used to put it a little bit, but just enough to get it in there. This thing ain't going to be looking jumping around too much. And there we go. Got my plate in. All right. Now, came with this insane amount of cable. And what we're going to do, we're going to measure this. I think the 600 millimeter length of red cable, which has been terminated at both ends, begins from the center of the mounting plate and run the cable along the inner guard and firewall to the positive terminal of the starting battery, which is literally from here to there. <laughs> so, right here. Where I may need some assistance because I have the hand strength of a six year old girl. So we're just going to take this from the center like that. And I mean, shit, dude, I'm literally going to need that much wire. I'm going to say put it right there. I'm going to have to give myself a little bit of a lead because I always cut short. Hopefully, these fucking 13 or $20 fucking things will do their job. Double check. Get into it, so I guess that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I'm not soldering anything unless Ian's got a soldering gun, but that'll be good enough for that. And that's going to go from here to there. So we'll leave that right there. All right. Now I need to do the same thing for this, hoping that this is going to make the length from here all the way to the back of my truck, which, cool, but in order to do that properly, because I'm looking, Now that I think about it. So, we do the same thing, only now we're gonna run it. Ugh, you know what? what should, should, which way should I go here? That's a thick fucking gauge, man. You doing that? You get out of my way. You need to come under here. I am a moron. Alright. So I want to run this down here. Fuck anything up with this giant cord here. No, we're going to run it right down that way. So, am I recording this? Yeah. That's good. So this is going to come down with my, my man hands, which aren't very manly, but they're manly enough apparently not to fit through. Which sucks because now. I don't know, I'll just hopefully find a better spot to come up then. That's what I'm thinking. So, as you can see, I guess I could just pull this all the way down now. My plan is, my plan is to run this motherfucker through the chassis here. Don't break anything, don't break anything. But what I miscalculated on was the fact that this motherfucker has to come through my truck bed. Oh, anyways, so you guys are about to see shirtless Dennis, and I truly and sincerely apologize. Okay, I to make sure I do this right. I have this. Why does this turn me on? A long ways to go, but really, it's just a matter of following the instructions, hooking things up in the proper order, making sure I do it right for fucking once. Oh, that beast! That is a powerful fuse right there, 150 amps. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. 
So there we go, see? Now it's coming through like it's supposed to. I don't know what it's getting attached to there. I don't pull out too much more. But now I guess, technically, this is where I wish I had a smart person. Where do I want to run this bitch? I've seen a lot of wire, wiring running through the chassis here. So I'm thinking I want to run this fucker maybe right there. No, that's my exhaust. I want to avoid that. So yeah, I'll just run it nice and simple right down this chassis fucking rail right here. And uh, up. And then hopefully I'll be able to find a way through. Hopefully I got enough cable left. I guess we'll find out. Okay, wires. That right there. What is that noise? 